Hi everyone, it's Yavash here and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can do split test in ClickFunnels. Again, uh, so in this episode as I mentioned we're going to talk about how you can create split test inside your ClickFunnels. So first of all, what is split test? So a split test is basically having two versions of your funnel and then sending for example 50% of your traffic to version 1 and the rest to the version 2 or you can actually play with the percentage as well and see so you can see which version does better and based on that you can keep on improving so when version A is your winner then you can do another split test on version A and again send 50% to version A and another 50% to version B and then see which one is doing better and basically improving on your funnel now how do we do that so let's say uh, that you have a funnel let's go ahead and like create a simple uh, opt-in funnel in here let's go ahead and say we want to choose a funnel and I'm gonna name it uh, split test click on build the funnel give it a couple of seconds Here we go, we have our funnel. Let's go ahead and uh, click on one of these opt-ins for now. Let's say we're gonna choose this one for our opt-in page. And for now, I'm just gonna ignore the thank you page because most of the time we only want to do the opt uh, uh, split testing for the opt-in page. Now, as you can see, uh, you already get uh, this thing in here called start split test in your Click funnel. So all you need to do is you simply click on create a variation and it asks you do you want to create it from template or do you want to create a duplicate. So usually what we want to do is create a duplicate and the reason behind that is basically when you do a split test and you want to do uh, basically test your funnel uh, you want to test uh, one change at a time because let's uh, face it let's, let's think about it. If you, change a couple of things uh, at one time and try to test and let's say those changes are start working and you're basically getting a better opt-in rate you don't know actually which one of those attributes that you change are uh, contributing to a better opt-in rate so you're kind of shooting in the dark so that's why it is always recommended to change one thing at a time so for sure you're going to be kind of at the end of your split test say okay that change didn't work so let's change it back to what it was before and change something else so for example in this scenario let's say uh, before actually going to go ahead and create a split test let's say first I will look at the actual landing page or opt-in page that we have so this is our opt-in page so for example this this all looks uh, nice one thing that you can test just by looking at this is you can test if this orange color performs better if you make it like a red button so the way to do that is we basically we go back we click on a create a variation then we click on create a duplicate page and once it's there we click on edit page for the variation and we simply go ahead select the button and make sure that we change the color to a red color and that's pretty much it you hit save and you're good to go now a couple of things that I would like to mention is that when you do a duplicate for your split test uh, there are some things that don't get copy over the variation and you want to double check and make sure that uh, you hook them up again so the first thing is your uh, autoresponder integration so if you have an integration for example with Aweber, ConvertKit or any third-party autoresponder implemented in your control version and you then duplicate it you need to go to the settings in your variation and make sure that you set that integration again other things that you want to double check is if you have any uh, tracking code inside your control page you want to make sure that you go ahead and put it inside your variation as well if you want to because those things doesn't get duplicated and a typical general settings like for example as you can see we have the banner in here 
if you hide it in control version and you make a duplicate you want to go ahead inside your variation and make sure that you duplicate uh, you hide that again once that is done, there's only one step remaining and this is basically to adjust your traffic. So all you need to do is like you say, okay, I want to send 50% to uh, version 1 and 50% to version 2 and then click apply changes. Now in order to test it, you might want to check, uh, test this in incognito version because there's no tracking and cookies you might need to uh, refresh your page a couple of times in order to navigate between these two so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to open incognito i'm going to paste it in here and hit enter so it brought the version one let's try that again version one let's try that again still bringing up version one you might want we might end up like deleting and quitting chrome and basically open up a new incognito window try it again now this time it brought version 2 as you can see so it kind of every third and fourth time it basically uh switch it back back and forth between version 1 and version 2 but as you can see it is actually doing what it's supposed to do uh that's pretty much it for how you can actually create a split test inside uh, click funnel there's much more things that we can go into more details but i'm just not gonna do it inside this video and i hope you enjoy this one please do make sure that you like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel also tap on that bell icon so every time i post a new video you'll get notified and also if you would like to learn more about the technical side of online business from someone that is that has a background in tech which is me and also has been doing uh, online business as well so it's kind of a unique uh, niche so if you want to learn more with one-on-one -on -one coaching make sure that you click on that join button uh, in the YouTube video or down at the bottom the first link inside the description or the first thing inside the comment section that I've pinned make sure to check that out and I guess I see you in the next one thank you bye